Welcome everybody to my garage sale finds. I hit up a citywide garage sale in Mineral Point, Wisconsin this past weekend. Let me show you what I found right here is a Sega Genesis, um, one of those plug and play things. Here's a look at the controller. This has uh, six games loaded onto it. Let me pull this sticker over here now since... Um, we won't be needing it anymore. Hopefully it comes right off. It's better to pull these things off right away because otherwise it'll get stuck to it. Yeah, you see it's it's already sticking. So as you see the power light is on. Well, it was. Um, it takes batteries. Otherwise it does have a plug-in for a 6 volt um, if you've got the correct uh, adapter. But it has uh, Echo Dolphin something on there. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with Tails, um, and some older games, like, nothing good like Golden Axe or, um, what's that street fighting game where you're, like, in a subway, like, nothing like that, so, that was one dollar, pretty cool. I like the design of this thing right here, too bad that tape didn't come off that good, let me see if we could, it kind of reminds me of one of the old school Sega's <clears throat> so okay we're gonna put this over here next thing we picked up for like 50 cents or yeah it was 50 cents is this ICP insane clown posse action figures um it looks like they got some articulation up there by the arms and the legs must kick this guy right here has an axe I don't know any of their names um, it looks like they're from Kiss, like Kiss's Kids, um, the band Kiss I'm referring to. They both wear white shoes, uh, it says warning, choke hazard on here. It's a shout out to you guys if you collect these. Parental advisory. Explicit content on package. So, alright, let's see if their faces look like how their paint jobs do on the card yeah, it kind of looks the same. Let's take a look at the back of the box. It says, hey, Juggalos, did you know this cool stuff about ICP? So they're rappers. One guy's name is Violent J. The other guy is Shaggy Too Dope. I think they're from Detroit, but Eminem makes fun of them um, because maybe they're not from Detroit. But hey, you can join the ICP fan club. It's free. Send your name and address to the ICP fan club PO Box 332 Royal Oak, Michigan 4206 or 068-0332 or go to insaneclownposse.com. So this thing is uh, pretty old. It's from 1999. I don't know. I wonder how much this guy paid for this thing, but I bet you he paid a lot. So we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put the ICP. Um, oh, I know where to put it. Hold on. I got an idea. We're gonna stick it right since uh, we're right next to the. Um, we're gonna put it right there because we're right by the uh, NASCAR Wall of Fame. So. Okay, the next thing we'll show you is NASCAR related, and I guess we'll do this one first. Um, this one was one dollar. Jeff Gordon, a Winter Circle Deluxe Brace Hood Series. It's the Chrome Paint Scheme. He had this out way before the uh, Exalta Chrome thing. Dupont Automotive finishes on here. We also have. Um, Pepsi, GMAC, Kellogg's, Quaker State, Slick 50, uh, Advanced Auto Parts, and DuPont, something on the back. Pretty sweet. Sears Satellite Radio in there, Chevy Mike Carlo. Let's take a look at the rear of it. Boom, and they got this awesome Micro Machines racetrack on here. It says NASCAR Raceway. See if you guys can find this on eBay. Um, maybe I'll have to look too. I do have some. I have that Bobby Labonte micro machine. And some other NASCAR micro machine haulers. Uh, let me know if you guys have any. 
So it says you crank them up for continuous race and action. I'm going to have to look on eBay for that thing. That looks pretty sick. Looks like a Dover. NASCAR Spring Cup Series headed to Richmond this weekend. Congratulations to yesterday's winner, Carl Edwards, doing the backflip and landing it. He didn't break his ankle. Not yet, anyway. So, no, we're not going to add this to the NASCAR Authentics Wall of Fame. Although, that might be pretty cool. Okay. We're going to move this one. So, I got another tag in here. We'll throw it up on the up on the wall for the heck of it. Oh, we added it right there. Nice. Okay, next. Um, we'll get to. Let's just do this uh, other NASCAR thing right away. Great. I just dropped the tag on the floor, and it was a dollar. Let's pull this thing off of here now. Oh, I left that on there. Dang it. So it's a Sharpie, Kurt Busch. Um, Rubbermaid Racing um, Ford Taurus. A very awesome paint scheme on here. Like that little Sharpie action right there. Nice. We got Sitco on here, Mac Tools. Um, I don't know what the hell, Col Colin Fiddick? I don't know. Paper Mate. Sharpie on the rear. A black Sharpie on the uh, rear quarter. Or, uh, tank lid, whatever you want to call it, and then a red one on the door. Pretty sweet autograph right there. Actually looks real. Um, black interior, Sirius Satellite Radio. Um, could we open this? I think we could. Do we want to? Okay, we did real quick. Here is a look at the car. You can breathe. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Stay tuned for a future video on this guy. No, I'm just kidding. Well, we'll see. If I get to it someday, you'll be able to see it. Okay, I'm going to stick it back in its uh, little case here. I think it's been opened a couple times already. But uh, there it is. Very awesome. Glad to have it added to my collection. Okay, next we'll get to this very cool thing right here. In order for me to do that, though, I got to move this Sega and stuff over here. We got a bunch of debris all over. Okay. Now, this thing had $125 on it, but we offered them, um, I offered them $75. So, here it is. Boom! Unbelievable Super Nintendo in box. Very awesome. It's it's not the version that comes with Mario World. Um, it's just the console by itself with one controller. Either way, the box is in unbelievable shape. Like it's really great. We'll take a look at the back. <clears throat> We got Super Mario World up there. Um, don't know F Zero, Zelda. Never played that. Sim City. I think I played that on Super Nintendo. Nah, I never have. PC. Uh, Pilot Wings. I used to own that game. Special T Shot. Super Tennis. Super Soccer. And uh, Super Play Football. Super play action football. My bad, guys. Very awesome shape. Look at this box. It's unbelievable. It's like it just left GameStop. And, uh... I'm very happy to have it. For 75 bucks, like... That's half of what it's worth, almost. I think it goes for about 150 Um, these things right here I pulled off... Um, of the box because I didn't want it to stick on there, but as you can see they wanted 125 for it um, These were like I said on the outside of the box, but I moved it was this one says for 125 for the set Unbelievable So here it is Super Nintendo kind of dusty not too bad no yellowing going on so that is Wonderful. Over here, we have one controller, the old TV adapter, which I coiled this one up. It was really loose up in here. 
I put that uh, thing on there. Also with that Sega Genesis, I put a rubber band around that Sega uh, plug and play thing. But yeah, this is in there. We got the power cord and another controller that did not come with this box Super Nintendo. So let's show you what else we got underneath the Super Nintendo. We got all the original packaging in here, guys. It is amazing. Get all this stuff. All these extra baggies. The manual. Can reading make you live longer? That's like when you're texting and driving. See, Mario was texting. And then, uh-oh. So we got some more um, plastic stuff for everything to go back to its original shape. Even the... The dang uh, twist ties are in there, so that is awesome. Very sweet find for seventy-five dollars. Let me show you boys what else and girls. What else? Uh, I'm sure there's more women that watch my channel than guys. Um, you know, that's just how it is. No, I'm just kidding. We'll see. All right, closing this up real quick. Let me show you what else um, we got with this deal. Boom, an inbox Super Mario World, the black whole, this is like the old school, the very first edition of Mario right here, very like good shape, this, this is in wonderful shape, boom, we got that, as you know there was another controller inside the box, well that was, uh, it belonged to this box right here, this box has all the original wrapping inside of it. Next game we got is PGA Tour Golf. The box is in great condition. Next game we got is Super Battle Tank War in the Golf. Awesome. These are all in great shape. Like these boxes are pretty cool, especially being for how old it is. And the last game we picked up was Desert Strike Return to the Gulf. Look at that artwork on there. Like, jeez, this helicopter. That's some GTA, uh, a titan of a job. Just kidding. Although it does look like it. We got Christian flying the helicopter. I'm like, I just picked up the stuff and ran up the stairs and got that guy, got that stuff. And now I'm like, all right, take me to Mendoza's or whatever. Okay, so here's a look at the back of it. Very cool. Um, we got somebody's yacht being blown up. That cost about $10 million, so sorry to see that. Um, there it is. 75 bucks, guys. I think this is might be worth over $200. Maybe 200 bucks. I spent 75 so quite a deal for I, Anthony, to find at... A citywide sale let's get to this stuff real quick it is all star wars related this is star wars blueprints um it was i don't think i paid two dollars for it maybe it was maybe it was a dollar though but you can tell at one time somebody paid 6.95 for it it says here are the cantina at el uh, mas esley or isley and the millennium falcon luke's land speeder the sand crawler, the interior of the Death Star, and more laid out to scale in exact detail. Fifteen blueprints in all. Celebrating the return of the Jedi. So shout out to Ray. Like that girl's been working it. If you follow her on Instagram, jeez, what a bot on that thing. We're gonna open this up. Boom. Um, that was just a case. So here's one of the blueprints. Well, let's open it up completely since we've got like a little desk here. Um, and this is a blueprint for R2-D2. Access panels, uh, radar eye, hand data input. Um, we got a bunch of things labeled A, D, C, B. Um... There it is. So, it also has this stuff down here. So, that's the blueprints of R2D2. 
there's a bunch of different ones in here. Let's go through them. Where if you can kind of see it, the sand crawler. Uh, Luke's Sky Hope. I don't know what the heck. <laughs> Luke's uh, Land thing. You can tell because it says cockpit right there. I'll just go through these. Some of this. Oh, blah, 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 I can't even pronounce that. Um, most easily the Millennium Falcon. Alright, now this one we might have to take a look at. Is this one first floor? I think this is downstairs because it's showing the gun. That must be the first floor, but either way, pretty weird. We even got the Death Star um, blueprints here, so if we ever need to invade, we'll be uh, we'll know what to do. Looks like these are made in 1977, or that's when they were copyrighted anyway. So I'm gonna put these back. Um, that was the Star Wars blueprints. Very strange, but still cool. Alright, this next stuff is still Star Wars related. This one was open. It's a Micro Machine Star Wars Darth Vader B-Spid. Which, that's what it looks like. Um, there are little scenes going on inside of his, like, the helmet. It, it's pretty cool, because it has all the, like, the accurate um, guys, which would be in that scene almost. Boom. And the guys are all in these packages right here. So this guy uh, did a good job taking care of it. Um, this one is open already, so I feel like we should just uh, pull it out of here and show you guys what it actually looks like. Um, I'm only pulling this one open, so... Here we go. We, I just pulled that out of the box. We got these little um, action figures in here. Uh, that just came rolling out. Also, there is... There's another thing in here. It's on the bottom. It's right there. So let's take a look at what we got here. We got the front of Darth Vader's face. The mask. <laughs> and then we got the back part of the helmet which looks like that 1994 Lewis Galoob so this is pretty cool check this out those little this little window opens like uh, you can get shot out of there um so there's the scene going on right there um here is the front of the helmet let me see if we can get this all connected uh oh anyway it's supposed to sit like this and like this okay great I think I think this is a scene uh maybe I got it wrong but yeah there are directions I do got it going right somewhat um we'll open these up real quick just to show you guys what they look like we got a landing pad which is supposed to keep this guy on there, so we'll put it on there. Um, it looks like we're missing... Um, oh no, he's built in right there. Let's raise him up. Here we go, we're gonna... Oh crap, I can't pull him out of there. Um, hold on, let me see. Is there a button I gotta press or what? Um, anyway, Han Solo is stuck right there. He's supposed to be able to come up, because check it out. Oh, you spin something. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you spin this, and here he comes. He's like, I'm stuck. I'm kind of frozen. Okay, and then, so yes, we got our landing guy. We got Chewy. We also have a... A uh, little short guy. Looks like we got Darth Vader. Um, Han Solo's friend. Frenemy. Looks like we got Luke Skywalker and FN187. No, I'm just kidding. But there they are. Chewie's carrying a broken up CP30. 
very cool. I think it's pretty cool. So that's the Death or uh, Darth Vader one, guys. It also comes with some little stickers that you could probably glamour this place up a little bit with. Um, you know what? We're going to put Darth Vader up here. And then I'm going to move this guy right back here. Oh, yeah. This is cool. We're, we're really playing. Oh, yeah. Look. Look. I am your father, Darth Vader. No! And then Luke falls out the window. Just fall out the window. Oh, there he goes. Oh! Okay, we're going to continue on. Like, we could do that for hours, but that's not what we're here for. This is Garage Sale Finance. On I, Anthony, thanks for watching, subscribing. Once again, that was the Micro Machine Star Wars Darth Vader B Spin. The next one I want to show you guys is Star Wars R2-D2 Jabba's Palace right there. So this one includes Jabba the Hutt, uh, Luke in a black outfit, a couple soldiers, that green guy that's down in that cage. You guys know that scene, right? And we got all the guys right inside there, like in a little plastic baggie. So this guy had this open at one time. Um, that's the guy that I was talking about down there. He gets eaten. You see him? Poor lonely guy. This is him. He lived quite a life. So Jabba's up there. Where's Princess Leia? Did they add her in her little uh, million dollar outfit? I'm not sure. But this one is in the shape of R2-D2. Um, it looks pretty cool. Right there you can see uh, the rest of them. Star Wars... We get the Darth Vader one, and guess what? We get the C-3PO one also. I just haven't shown you guys. So we got the whole set. And these guys were uh, $5 each. I think it says 9 but I paid uh, 15 for all of them. And the last one I got to show you is the Star Wars C-3PO Cantina. Gold and this one's unopened so you can see the guys actually standing there. We got Greedo, Han Solo, the Millennium Falcon uh, FN2187. No, I'm just kidding um, That's pretty cool, huh guys? I thought so um, We'll zoom in see if that helps out Millennium Falcon looking cool Everybody loves Greedo because he shot first but then they say Han Solo shot first. I don't know. Now one time he paid $15 for these at Toys R Us. Here's a look at the back. Let me zoom back. There we go. Quite a scene going on here. It's the cantina. Awesome. It's when uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke were looking for a ride out of their planet or whatever. So we're going to stick that guy up there too. Okay. Now here's the last couple things I found, guys. Let me just move these guys back here. Um, sorry for the mess. <clears throat> okay. This guy right here was 50 cents. I think he's complete. I really, I really can't tell. I've never put this guy together. It looks like his name is Fire Rescue. He is a transformer, everybody. Got his wheels. And uh, I'm assuming it's a fire truck. I just don't know how to put it together yet. We'll get it put together, added to the collection. We bought the Batman Forever soundtrack for one quarter. We got Jim Carrey, Tommy Lee Jones, Nicole Kidman, um, Chris O'Donnell, I'm not sure, and Val Kilmer playing the Bat. He's like. Where is, where is he? Okay, I'll shut up. I know, that was bad. Back here, got the Riddler. Everybody's seen that movie. The Bat's like, Riddler, I want to party too. Okay. Uh, these games right here I picked up for $1 each. Let's get to them. They are all on the N64. We have Rush Hour 2, Extreme Race in USA. Very awesome. I love those old Rush games. 
Um, NFL quarterback club with Brett Favre there. Unbelievable. They put a Packer player on the cover of the NFL game. Knockout Kings 2000. Muhammad Ali, shout out to the greatest. John Madden 2000. Boom! EA Sports, it's in the game. Thanks for subscribing to our Anthony. Um, next game. Uh, Rush, San Francisco. We'll back out a little bit. Very cool. Extreme racing, guys. Uh, we got Mario Party for $1. I think this is like a $40 or $50 game. We paid $1 for it. Next one is Cruising World. The artwork on here is still pretty good. Check it out. Awesome. Looks like the car is about to hit a rhino, though. Um, this guy was free. He's missing his um, bucket or whatever adapter goes to this. This is very cool. It's all metal. Um, oh, I just broke it. Yep, I just broke that off of there. Or actually, um, this side, he's supposed to have uh, this thing on there. You see that where it's black? But I think it fell into there. It's like right inside here. Well, maybe I'll get it out of there someday and hook this thing up right. Yeah, because see, that thing's supposed to lift way up, you know? Awesome. All right, guys, last little bag I found was 50 cents. We'll get to it. These are, I don't know, some McDonald's Transformers. Either way, they're Transformers. Oh, one. We got Bumblebee Tuna. Two. Um, looks like a Power Ranger. Um, I have no clue. Is this a Power Ranger? Like, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. With a real gold grill on there. And the last guy is an army dude from the Marine movie. It's John Cena. Do, 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 do. Alright kids. Thanks for watching. Um, this has been my garage sale finds. Citywide. Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Shout out to you guys. Until next time. We will see you in the garage. Are we gonna get shit? John Cena always wins. Buried.